Hi everyone, my name's Jamie, I'm a third year journalism student. Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth and I'm a third year English literature student. And we're going to give you a quick campus tour today. Our campus is currently closed for Easter, so it's very quiet. So we thought now would be the perfect time to get around and show you the facilities on offer here at York St John. And so the building we're currently in at the minute is our Holgate building, which is home to our main reception desk and our student information desk. So they're the places you can come and get lots of advice on any issues you might be facing as a student. And it's also home to our dining room. So we'll head over to the dining room now. This is our dining room. Uh, this is open daily, uh, Monday to Friday during university term time. In our dining room, we serve hot and cold food, such as sandwiches, snacks. Uh, there's also served breakfast as well. So there's so many different options available for our students. We also do a hot and cold drink service, which is served throughout the day. Behind us are our security offices. We have 24 7 security on campus. The security team are available to go out to accommodation sites as well as help with any issues that they may have on campus. They just make our campus feel a little bit more safe and give the student that sense of security as well. We're now going to walk over to the quad, which is the oldest part of York St John, and personally, it's my favourite part of the campus. We're at the front of our campus now, and as you can see just behind me here, we have the York City Walls and the lovely York Minster. As a university, we are very lucky to get the privilege to graduate in our York Minster, which is something that we hold very close to our hearts. So we're now outside the quad, which is the oldest building on campus. It was built in 1841, and back when it was just a teacher training college, this was the only building that stood. It was used as a field hospital during World War II and uh, it's personally one of my favourite places on campus. It retains all of its old charm and it's now used mainly for dance studio spaces, media production spaces and drama spaces. So we'll take you on a quick walk through the quad as well. So if you'd excuse the current building work that we've got going on here, um, we're now inside the quad. As you can see, it's very peaceful, very tranquil, and our grounds team work very hard throughout the year to make it keep it looking nice. The section behind us, you can see those white windows there. They used to be the dormitories for the lads that used to come here as a teacher training college, and you weren't allowed to walk through the middle unless you were a third year or a prefect. Right now we're at the Ripping Wing building, which is home for our primary year students. Uh, all the classrooms inside this building are set out like primary classrooms would be, as it gives them that sort of space to practice for when they go out into the teaching world. So we're now in Phoenix Court, which is home to a lot of our art courses. So as you can see behind me, it's set up like a studio gallery at the minute. So all the artists come over here, get stuck in, get messy and create their best work. Uh, I don't spend a lot of time in here personally because I'm not very arty. But there's some really good work in here. And at the end of the year, we have the Art and Design Degree Showcase that shows off all the fantastic work that our students produce. We're currently surrounded by our Core Dukes building, as you can see here. Um, it's in the shape of a U. This used to be the site of our old students' union, but as we have a brand new students' union, we've filled this space with teaching space. Uh, when we became a university in 2006, we dedicated this name of the building to the first student who actually attended our university. His surname was Core Dukes, hence it being called Core Dukes. We're now in our Peace Garden, uh, which is adjacent to our chapel. It's just a nice place. Nice and tranquil again to come and chill out if the pressures of university life are getting to you. Um, the on-site chapel offers a multitude of faith services, uh, a lot of support as well. And it's also the home of our YSJ big band and where they practice as well. We're now in our students' union building. It was built in 2016 after a major investment from the university. It's not only just home to the bar and a Starbucks, it's also the home to all the representation that is offered to us here at York St John and is the home to our over 50 sports and societies. So if coming and chilling out with your friends is your thing, this is the perfect spot to do it. And if you want to get involved in a sport or a club, again, it's the place to do it. 
of the things that we love to do here at York St John is ensure that it's our students that we use as the face of our campaigns and that we put at the heart of our campus. Um, so we're always asking them to get involved in photo shoots and things like that, as you can see. Like this. Now we're in our design centre. This is home to all our design courses, such as graphic design, interior design and uh, product design. So we're now in Fountains, which is home to our library, and our library is open 24-7 for all those late night study sessions that you might need to get in to make sure you get that essay finished. As well as all the books and the computer systems that you'd imagine to be in here, we also have our ILE desk, who are fantastic at helping you when it comes to locating texts, academic referencing, or anything to do with university life. We also have laptop loan lockers, so if for whatever reason you need to borrow a laptop, that is a, a service that's available to you. There's also a Costa uh, located inside the building, so if you need your caffeine fix. And we also have a student kitchen on our second floor. So again, for those late night study sessions, rather than ordering the takeaway, why not just reheat the spag bowl that you made earlier that day? Right now we're sat in our library primary ed space, this is specifically for primary ed students use. As you can see it's got a lot of child friendly books and resources, so we have like the dolls up here, um, the bean bags, the play kits, um, and that's just to aid primary ed students in their studies. Right now we are in our degree building which as you can see is home to the York Business School um, so a lot of the business students and business academics are based in here, there's all the business offices upstairs um, and a lot of the students tend to have uh, a lot of their lessons in here. Um, if you ever come to visit us on an open day or a decision day um, you may have an interview here. This is where your main information point is so you receive all your information, you'll get to meet all our staff um, within this building. Um, the Grey is also a very eco-friendly building as well, so the building itself is designed in a way that keeps it warm during the winter and cool during the summer, so there's no need for radiators or air conditioning or anything like that, helping us here at York St John reduce our carbon footprint. The building we're in now is FOSS. Uh, behind us here we're at the entrance of the Biomedical Science Suite. Um, we also have Psychology Suites in here as well. Um, as they are very specialist subjects, they have very specialised areas. Um, so down this biomedical corridor it's like a sort of hospital lab. Um, the psychology labs obviously have like counselling suites, things like that. So this is a very specialised area on our campus that's very core specific. We also have an on-site strength and conditioning suite as well, which our students use as their local gym. So you get discounted memberships as a student and it's a great way to stay active throughout the year. And just behind us through this window, we have our sports hall that's located here in Foss. So it's um, our only on-site sports hall because most of our facilities to do with sports are up at our Haxby Road Sports Park. Um, but this is a great place to come and play badminton, um, come and join the basketball club, things like that. There's loads of events and this is also where we host our Freshers' Fair. So the building that we're in now is Skell, and Skell is home to um, just a variety of different teaching suites, like the one we're in, just for you to have sort of a generic lecture, generic seminar, and just a room that's really good to get a group of people in. Your lecturer can talk to you, there's plenty of screens, and uh, they're used for meetings, and you can generally just book these rooms out as well if you need them. We're now back where we started on our campus, we're back in our Holgate building. Our final thing to show you on this tour today is our launch pad. Um, which is actually our career service here at York St John. Um, they offer a range of facilities, whether it be looking at your CV, um, offering information about applying for masters or part-time jobs. Um, they do drop-ins, they, they are a very helpful career service and they obviously they want what's best for their students uh, when they're getting ready for graduation. And one of the best things about being a York St John student is once you come to York St John, you're a member for life. Um, so we offer career services and advice to all our old Johns as well. So whether you've graduated for one year, two years or 30 years, you're always more than welcome to get career service advice from us.
That's everything from us today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this virtual tour. Uh, obviously, if you do have any queries or questions about York St John as a university, do feel free to get in touch with us. All our contact information is on our website. Thanks, guys.